everyone and welcome to my new dory paint video as you could see it already from the thumbnail today we are going to make an asian princess and you know what strangely enough this is the very first asian doll on my channel really shame on me shame on me but unfortunately the fact is that there are, I don't know, 95 if not 99% of the dolls in our shops here in Belgium are white Europeans. And that's why of course it's easier and more like regular to turn one white European doll into another white Caucasian and that's it. But today we are going finally to break the rule, to go another direction and we are going to turn a regular basic Draculaura into a beautiful Asian princess. Okay, let's keep this intro very short because I have planned some very serious body modifications for today and there is extremely lot of work to do. So, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not with us yet. I post new Dory Paint videos every big Friday. Hit the bell button to get the notifications and let's go, let's start the transformation. So here is the doll and first of all in the beginning I need to take her original outfit off and cut her hair very very short. I make her head soft with a hair dryer and then I can easily pull it off without making any damage. And it also melts the glue inside of the head and I can remove the rest of the hair with the tweezers easily. Then I remove her factory face with pure acetone and the black color on her head I am going to keep because I am going to give her dark hair again. Especially for this doll I have bought a couple of bags of dark saran hair. It comes from mylittlecustoms.com shop in the UK. And I have also bought a new rerouting tool from them because I think this wooden handle will feel better in my fingers than the iron one. So then I reroute her hair and it's always a job for two evenings for me. And then I put quite a lot of tacky glue inside of the head, spread it with q-tips and then I let it dry for at least 24 hours. And while the glue is drying, I will start working on her body already now because there is really a lot of work to do. I want this doll to be able to sit on her knees like a real Asian woman. And this doll cannot even stay on her knees properly. So I think I will give this doll double jointed knees. And first of all I want to remove the joints from the bottom part of the legs. Then I'm going to cut off the joints together with the knees and for this I will use my orange saw. And this all was happening on the Christmas day by the way. So this is how it looks and now let's sand the edges to make them more smooth and polished. And then I need to make here the same splits for joints like in the bottom parts of the legs. And to do this I will use my Dremel tool. Then I also make the holes on the sides and that's how it looks in the end. To make the joints I will use popsicle sticks. I've seen this trick in other artist tutorials, so let's give it a try. But first I need to build up a little bit the upper part of the legs to make the splits for joints as deep as the original ones on the bottom part of the legs. And please guys, 
Don't repeat my mistake and always use gloves when you're working with epoxy sculpt. I was lucky and I had no skin problems, but it can cause serious allergies, of course. So, don't be like me and read the package before using new supplies. I let the scalp dry for 24 hours and now I can start making and installing the joints. I make the holes in the sticks, insert them into the splits in her bottom leg parts and I fix them inside with a piece of thick wire. Now I can measure how big the joints should be and cut the rest of the wood off. Now I need to sand the sides and to make another pair of holes with the Dremel. Ok, the joints are installed now, but you can see that the flexibility is not ideal yet. And to improve it, I will give the joints more anatomical shape. And now she can finally sit like a normal human at a low floor table. But about floor tables we will talk later, and now I still need to sculpt the knees. The next day, when the scalp has dried completely, I've replaced the temporary wire with wooden barbecue sticks. I'm doing it for a better fixation of the joints, because you see the wire fixed leg is too loose compared to the one with wooden sticks. I've sealed the holes with the sculpt, let it dry overnight, and when I got up the next morning ready to start working on her face, I've heard this music in my head. The wooden sticks just cracked in two. Actually, it's normal. This is what happens to popsicle sticks sooner or later if you cut them. I've tried to remake it three times more, off camera it took more than a week and the result was always the same they crack so guys don't listen to internet life hacks don't use popsicle sticks for making joints and when i was already crying in complete despair sitting staring into the corner under my table i've suddenly seen them the ideal plastic joints can you believe it it was a part of the package from the doll that I've turned into James Charles a week ago. And I don't know if you believe in miracles, but I do from now on. Because this gift I've got from the universe a couple of hours before the new year, when I was in a complete despair. I really couldn't believe my eyes, really guys. The size, the thickness, even the holes were on the right spots. I just needed to cut them a little bit and make the sides round, not square. And that's it. And the rest went just from itself. A miracle. And this is what I've got finally in the end. It became even more challenging than I expected. And I'm really happy that it worked so good after all. And I can finally start working on the face. First of all, I'm going to cover her face with a couple of layers of light acrylic paint using my airbrush. And to make a right shade, I need to mix a couple of colors together. I use a shot glass for it because it has an ideal size and I don't really need a lot of paint for this tiny face. And the rest of the paint I can keep for the next layers and for painting the body. Then I put a drop of a darker paint in the mix and add shade into her face. After this I seal the face with three layers of Liquitex sealant, you know I'm testing it now and honestly I don't really like it at all, but let's give it another try. 
And when all the layers of the sealant get dry, I sketch the eyes and the eyebrows because I kind of need them as, as a reference to finish the face contouring. I need to know where exactly the eyes of my doll will be in the end. So after the layer of sketching, I need to finish the contouring and add some blush. I've prepared a set of pencils in very natural colors, I've made them very sharp and now let's draw the face. And what I can say immediately is that the white pencil doesn't want to go on at all. I've seen the same situation in the original tutorial of the person who likes the Liquitex sealant and now I experience it myself. It feels really strange because the surface is very grainy and I know how different this white pencil can work with Mr. Super Clear that is not that grainy at all. It's strange. I keep layering the white pencil again and again, but it doesn't really work like it should. The darker shades go on better, but I anyway cannot really make very fine lines. Ok, let's say it honestly, in the end I've just freaked out of camera and painted the squares of her eyes with white acrylic paint. Because even after applying 5 layers, the white pencil didn't give a good coverage, it still stayed very poor. Come on guys, it's not okay. What is the plus point of this sealant? Oh yeah, it's not toxic. Very good. The sealant that doesn't work, but it's not toxic. Please give me back my very good working, trustworthy, but toxic? Okay, Mr. Super Clear, it's better. Why do I need a non-toxic sealant that doesn't work? Come on. Look how bad it goes on! I just cannot draw the irises, I cannot apply the highlights! And it's even kinda scratches off the layer of sealant and paint under it! What a horror! Really horror! The black pencil works kinda better than the white, ok? So I can draw some half clumsy eyelashes, but for the eyeliner, after long suffering with pencils, I've also used black acrylic paint. There is a lot of suffering behind the camera today, really, it's the first time like this. I don't know guys, maybe it will sound strange and too radical, but I just cannot continue with this face. Yes, it's completely ready, ok, I worked on it for a couple of days, I still let it for two days to think about it. But it just looks bad because of the sealant. It makes the face too grainy and even the tiniest pieces of some invisible dust stick to her face instantly without me even touching it. You see, there are everywhere tiny black spots. Maybe it's some fluff from my cats, I don't know, something flying in the air. It's probably difficult to see on camera, but it's all just messy and dirty and very disappointing because it doesn't even look like my work, I don't recognize it because I literally forced the pencils to work on this surface, at least in some way Yeah, instead of controlling the process like I always do it and like doing what I paint and what I actually want you can compare this face to the face of my dolls made with Mr. Super Clear. You see, the old ones are clean and advanced and very detailed, and the new one is just some beginner's mess. So, after crying some more today, I have decided to take acetone and to restart it all over using Mr. Super Clear. I've taken pictures of the first version made with Liquitex so we can compare the results in the end. 
disaster, really horror, horror today. And what the, what the hell is this? Excuse me. So the pencils. I used to draw the eyes and the drop of pastels I used to sketch her nose just five days ago have stained her rubber face like this? You must be kidding with me! What kind of a sealant is this if it absolutely doesn't protect the surface? I've repainted my own custom dolls like from years ago and they've never been stained after years laying in the box here even though I used the same pencils all my life. But yeah, the sealant was different. I would say you need first a primer to protect the surface before you use the sealant. Literally, I'm shocked now, shocked. You can see now how much better the white pencil works on this surface. In two layers I probably can build up a nice and solid white coverage. And also it's much easier for me to draw very fine and precise lines. It's just normal, you draw like on the paper, you're not struggling. No really, I have enough of bad advice today, I've probably never been so angry on my channel before. I don't even know how other artists dare to recommend something like this. Guys, tell me please, I know there are a lot of doll customizers in the comments. Is here at least anyone who thinks that Liquitex is a good alternative for the Mr. Super Clear? I don't know, or people have just so much different quality standards, or it works that different for different people. I don't know, for me it doesn't work, for me it's over. I've seen really enough of this sealant. Oh my god, what a freedom, really. I can just take any pencil and draw on top and it shows up good and it doesn't scratch the layer under it off. Oh, pure pleasure, what a difference. You can see that this time I've started with a pretty regular eye shape and now I will turn them into hooded eyes by drawing right light accents. I add reflections to her eyes and now let's put the both versions of the doll's face next to each other. And I think even like this you can see the difference and the only reason for such a difference is the sealant. You see the new face is much cleaner, it's much more detailed, I don't know, it just looks like the same artist a couple of years later. There is a difference. Yeah, now we still need to blush the body. I've already forgotten about it and about all the problems with the broken joints we've had in the beginning of this video. The face and the sealant issues made me forget about everything, literally. I've put the head and the body back together and now I want to brush and to style her hair. As a hair decoration I would like to use a couple of chopsticks and first of all I need to make them using barbecue sticks. Oh 
While the sticks are drying, I can attach the false lashes and to add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. Then I trim the lashes and we can finally move to the outfit part. This time I've asked my mom to make a kimono, of course, for this doll, and I think this time she did it even better than always. For a fabric she took such a table napkin or some tablecloth from a Chinese dining set. I remember someone has brought it from China as a gift to us, but we've never really used it, so now it's time to give it a real new life. And that's why actually I'm especially happy that I've decided to remove the first face and to draw a completely new one. You know, I've invested so much time and put so much effort into her body to make the knees double jointed. Now my mom is making some masterpiece outfit and it would be just a pity to pull this doll's look down by dusty and clumsy and dirty face. And now it will be ideal what is actually supposed to be from the beginning and this is how it looks in the end i think it even more than beautiful it's just absolutely perfect now i can finally decorate those hair with the chopsticks and i've bought also a couple of flower earrings and now i'm planning to use them like hair pins to decorate the doll's hair In my huge box with those shoes, I have found this perfect pair. And I'm going to paint it first with brown acrylic paint and then dry brush it slightly with golden acrylics. And the very last detail of the makeover is the floor table. You remember, I've promised you in the beginning of this video that we will be back to the floor tables today. So here we are. I've bought it online together with a set of different dishes, glasses, chopsticks. And these dishes are so cute, not normal, really. They're even better than on the pictures online when I ordered them. Oh guys, it's very difficult to believe, but the doll is ready and I'm very happy with the result. If you forget that I was struggling with every single step of the repaint throughout the whole process, I would even call her one of my favorite dolls on the channel. And it's also probably the second most challenging one after the failed plastic surgery disaster experience. You remember when I have ruined the complete head and I needed to sculpt it from scratch out of clay. Oh, it was something special. If you missed that makeover a couple of months ago, I tell you, go check it out. Because it was even more dramatic than today. But it's enough drama for today. The doll is ready, she's in front of you and everything is perfect. And some difficulties can always happen, it's just very important to recharge your batteries and to get your energy and inspiration back. And in my case I've got back my energy from your comments and reactions under my last Barbie to James Charles makeover. I was replying smiling for hours. And when Sister James commented under the video, I just exploded. So, after this you have your inspiration back again to make new cute things. So, the next week I am going to start a completely new project and episode 1 of a very big project. So, check if you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button and also please put a like to support my art here on YouTube. And that was it for today. Let's meet here again next Friday and customize some more dolls. Love you guys. Bye.